How to draw a horse in pastel. Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. Welcome into my studio. And I'm using pastel matte paper, pan pastels to block in the undertones of the horse. And pan pastels are superb for doing that. They really get the colours and the tones down very, very quickly. And I find them much easier to use for the underdrawing than using normal pastel stick. Now we just saw my vacuum cleaner go on top and I use a handheld HEPA filter vacuum to get the dust off on very dusty stages on pastel drawings. And that prevents that problem of dust going around the studio and going into your lungs. So basically I'm blocking in the tones to start with, working usually from light, from dark to light whereas in colored pencils you would work the other way around. So pastels are a lot more intuitive. You work from dark and then layer those light tones on the top. Now I like to get my reference photo really close in some stages. That helps me then to judge the colors, the tones, and how much detail I want on there as well. And I usually print that reference photo out to the exact same size as my drawing because that makes everything much, much more easy to judge. And on the right hand side they have also popped up a reference and that's especially for um, the people that are following me on Patreon so they can actually judge those colours and tones more easily as well. So now I'm putting in the uh, bridle of the horse, blocking in the blacks first, always important to get those in and then I'm saving my real whites till the end so even when I'm putting in lots of whites like down the the nose of the horse there I'm actually using a light gray pencil I'm not gone in with my brightest highlights as of yet I save those to the last couple of uh, stages now I tried to keep the edges on all the leather parts as well so you can see it I'm drawing those in even if I'm doing the um, horse in between I don't want to lose those edges of the drawing and I'm using blue then to actually um, indicate the highlight where it's reflecting that bounce light from the sky. Here I'm working on the horse's neck, blending in sometimes, even with my fingers, if I want to get even a deeper blend, I'll use a soft pastel stump. And these are all things that I can obviously concentrate much more on showing on my uh, Patreon channel. And there's videos on there, there's absolutely hundreds and hundreds of pounds and dollars worth of videos you get access to now from just four dollars a month so roughly the price of a cup of coffee and you get hundreds and hundreds of um, as I said dollars and pounds worth of videos of all different subjects in pastels and oils as well so now I'm starting to add more detail I'm working on the shoulder area of the horse before I begin blocking in and here I'm using Rembrandt pastel sticks I'm using a light gray and then a darker gray blending it all in with my hand and then I come back in and start to really detail the horse up going with the light to tones indicating in all those subtle color changes the small hairs that are overlapping onto the background that's another thing you can do easily with pastel that you can't do with uh, colored pencils and then the final details and the final very bright highlights where I'm using a Karen Darsh white, which is my whitest white in the pencils. And then indicating just a few hairs here and there as well, just to finish off the whole drawing. Now I've slowed everything down to show you what it would be like on normal speed if you was watching most of it on the two and a half hour version. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you all again real soon. If you're looking for more art resources, I've really got you covered. I've got a dedicated tutorial website, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk. Lots of videos on there, ebook tutorials, you name it, it's on that site. I've got a Patreon art channel. So every month I put up brand new videos, and that could be pastel videos, oils, charcoals, they're full length videos and there's also photo references with the easy trace line art on there i've got quite a few hundred people supporting me and that's on patreon and also if you're after even more reference photos i got a dedicated website just packed and packed with reference photos i think there's about 900 on there at the moment so that's wildlifeart-online.com now please with my youtube channel new videos coming on here as well if you can possibly subscribe to the channel, then you're never going to miss out on new videos.